Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Draw My Story. And today we're drawing an interesting fight. It's once again a versus story that you're going to love. The long horse versus short horse. I know most of you were requesting for it from a long time. So here it is. As we know, both long horse and short horse by now, it's a unique pairing as one is a divine creature and the other is a true monster. One is too good and the other one too bad. One is always there standing with mankind to help them and save them from disaster, whereas the other one is causing the disaster. So it's going to be really interesting bringing these two for a face-to-face -face fight because more or less they both possess the same power and abilities but considering one is good and the other one is bad it's really difficult to say who exactly is going to win this is my theory of who will win but i'd like to hear your opinion as well so comment below who do you think is going to win now let's start the story so talking about long horse it's an infinite horse its full body is never seen by anyone what we know is only about its head and neck it has a normal horse-like head but no flesh the face is like a skeleton a horse skeleton and the neck goes long and infinite the neck is so long that it's coiled around the end of the neck disappears into the dark or behind the buildings. We don't get to see it. Long horse is white in color. It has a black mane running over its neck. We assume that the mane ends where the neck ends and that it has a body, legs and tail behind the neck. It's not sure though. The long horse's neck is made of joints. These joints help it to shrink or expand the neck as it likes. And it makes a cracking sound when long horse moves. Now coming to the short horse. It's also an infinite horse where we can't see where the body is ending. The difference is that the head of the horse is not entirely bony in structure. There's blood and flesh. This gives it a red color on its head and neck. Like the long horse, the face of short horse is skeleton-like. There are two large rounded eyes fixed in eyeballs, two sets of sharp crooked teeth. It also has blade-like projections on its neck instead of a mane. It looks like a monster horse. For long horse, all these structures were vague and very bone-like. However, short horse is more like a live horse, unlike long horse, who's skeletal and bony. It also has joints in the neck, like the long horse. Long horse is basically a peaceful being, while short horse is filled with rage and revenge, because it thinks itself as a product of an experiment which went wrong. Long Horse comes in humans' dreams to warn them against any danger they might face in the future. This will help the human to be prepared well in advance. It's a heavenly creature. And Short Horse was created by humans. It was created to work similar to Long Horse. However, the result didn't come out well. And the Short Horse became this creature who hates humans and hates itself. The one main reason that can cause a conflict between these two is the hatred of Short Horse. The Short Horse hates humans, so it can hate Long Horse as well for helping humans. Also, Short Horse knows that it was made to replicate Long Horse, so the reason for its demeaning existence itself is Long Horse. Because of all these factors, the short horse can go in search of long horse and try to fight it. 
In a hypothetical scenario where Short Horse meets the Long Horse, Short Horse will be the one who will start the fight. It might try to attack the Long Horse physically with its strong teeth and blades on its neck. It will jump over the Long Horse and try to rip it off. While Long Horse is way beyond these physicalities, it's a mystic creature. Not only that, Short Horse will not be able to touch the Long Horse but also Long Horse will stay calm in front of it. This will make the Short Horse angrier than ever. Its inferiority emotions will be fueled up by this reaction. Long Horse is highly intuitive. It knows why the Short Horse is here, and it knows that the Short Horse needs a fight for its liberation. So the Long Horse is ready to take whatever that is going to come its way. The next attempt from the Short Horse will be using its supernatural powers. Short Horse can attack someone mentally and push them into a well of bad feelings. Many times, Short Horse does this with humans, so the person will get into chronic depression and commit suicide. Now the Short Horse will try to have this effect on the Long Horse. However, the Long Horse is a highly positive power. It is that hugely positive that can retrieve the whole humankind's issues into itself and diffuse them. A full pool of negativity from the short horse will not affect the long horse to lose itself. With the defeat of its physical and mental prowess, the short horse will lose its mind. It will scream and burst out with emotions. It will jump around and will try to kill itself. Now is the time the long horse knows that the short horse is ready for a transformation. The long horse will radiate its most powerful healing energies into the short horse. The short horse will have no other option but to take this. The long horse will have the purest intentions to help short horse. It will take out all the pain, anger, revenge, and bad feelings from the short horse and elevate it to a stronger mindset. With this, the short horse will actually be transformed into a mini long horse, as it always wanted to be. From there on, they'll work together to help humans. And that was today's story, guys, about long horse versus short horse. Comment and let me know how'd you like it. And please subscribe to my channel, guys, if you want to see more Draw My Story horror videos like this one. Till then, bye.